All right, same idea on this one. Uh, once again, uh, you should check before you use synthetic division, even if the se section is named synthetic division, which is this one, 6.7. So again, we need that coefficient of x to be 1. It's just a regular x, no powers of x, not in the denominator. And then we're adding the 6 there. So we know we can use synthetic division on this one. I'm just going to show that coefficient of x squared is 1. Uh, and then, of course, in the box, we're going to take the opposite of that plus 6, which would be a negative 6. And then I have the coefficients 1, 5, and then the constant 3. And we got our line here. Of course, we'll always just drop that first coefficient. So uh, then I got 1 times negative 6, which is negative 6. 5 minus 6 is negative 1, which I will then multiply by negative 6, which is a positive 6. So I got 3 plus 6, which is 9. Now our uh, leading term there was x squared. So this one now will just be an x. That will be a minus 1. So the next term has no x's. And then we're going to add that 9 and just divide it by our divisor, x plus 6.